Hi, I'm Dan Sullivan, the product manager for C and Heat. I'm here with Rob Reif, the CTO of Pixius Communications. Hello. And uh, Rob and Pixius have tried out our new CT, C and Heat product, so we wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, so Rob, here's the overall like heat map, and it's like any other heat map. Um, but when we drill into it, we start to see like a specific like subdivision, and, um, and so we can see things on the subdivision like actual like um, there might be like service right here at the east uh, end of this pitch of the roof, and that home doesn't have service, but these have service all over there. <laughs> Can you tell us your experience with C and Heat and how it's worked for you? Uh, yes, we've uh, looked at the heat map coverage that you provided and overlaid that with our existing customers and our production kills. Uh, we don't have that overlay on there right now, but of the sites where we do have heat signatures on the homes, it correlates to where we have customers. Okay. On the sites where we have production kills, this would be a good example here to where uh, the, the ones where we have production kills. It's dark, so the correlation is very encouraging. Okay. Um, we talked yesterday about the one, the one installation that we couldn't quite figure out. It was okay. a dark installation, but we had a very good link at that at that residence, and it was actually on a pole mount away from the canopy of the trees, on a direct line of sight outside the the trees to the tower, which was which was nice. Because yeah. looking at some of these, where we go out and we'll install on these locations. This may be one that we dig into a little bit better internally to determine if we have any hope at all of doing an installation there or there, or could we get on the other side of the tree? So it helps us maybe strategize our installations a little bit better instead of just rolling out and hoping for the best like okay. we've done in the past. <laughs> and then the second service that we provided to you, we're, we're not quite done on this yet though, but we'll talk about it, is we provided building identification. And I think what we did is we did an intersection of the buildings which we're showing here with the ones that have service. So you can see that the homes that have the service have a nice push pin. And the one thing we still lack still need to do is we're going to try to provide you the actual addresses of these homes in the very near future. But can you tell us your thoughts about the ability to intersect the, um, the having the ad the locations of your served customers identified or the customers that can't get service yeah, that, identified? That's a, that's a critical deliver, deliverable. Having the addresses, that would allow us to strategically market to those customers. Um, it's kind of nice to have the heat signature. You can look at it, but it's, it's too reactive. Having the addresses, we could go out and directly mail to the customers where we know we've got really a great chance of installations on those. And maybe you know, we would include this customer in this case, but maybe on another development, that's just completely dark and there's no hope, they're down in a valley or covered by trees, we may not uh, waste our resources marketing in that direction knowing that it would be a non-standard non installation or a utility pole or some type of elevated tower that would require to, you know, to light that, that, that group of customers up. So. All right, well anyway, thank you for your time and your help with us getting the and Heat like validated and rolled out. No, this is fun collaboration, so good stuff. I look forward to rolling this out further and taking action against it. So. Me too. All right.